Welcome back to the SUP Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Lawrence Deloach. I am joined, as always, by my guys, Luke Trovisi. Yo, yo, yo. Chris Cheney. What up, what up? And we got a special guest today in the building. My guy, stand-up comic, hilarious, performs all over the country, New York City, wherever you want to go. You'll see him all the time. Courtney Reynolds. What's up, Courtney? Yo, what's up, Thanks for having me on. Oh, y'all don't have the button. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But y'all knew to do it together. Yep, yep. <laughs> they did that shit together, man. Now I want to I want to thank you, bro, for coming on. We're gonna we're gonna talk a lot of sneakers. We're gonna talk a lot of lifestyle stuff. We're gonna talk a lot of stuff today. Um, as of today, we're recording this uh, episode on a Saturday, mm-hmm. and tomorrow is the the big game, Super Bowl Sunday. The Chiefs and the the Tom Brady uh, Buccaneers. That's <laughs> I'm pretending they're Patriots. So. <laughs> mm. it, it has that Me feeling. Too. It Me does. too. It does. That's why I'm rooting against them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I mean, I've that been does, so in the right. I've been so in the middle of like following the guy or keeping with the franchise. You know what I mean? But like, it's still too fresh of a wound for me. So like, I'm just pretending it's the Patriots and Chiefs again, and I'm just gonna pretend that all that slate gray is blue. <laughs> you know. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, can I get some predictions? Courtney, since you're the guest, uh, what's your prediction for the game tomorrow? You want to score? I, I I just want a winner, and and that's it. I don't want to score. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> oh, I mean the uh, the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> the Patrick Mahomes. The, that's the it. Patrick Mahomeses. Yes. I'm the Chief Mahomes. Yes. Mahomes. Yeah, Chief Mahomes. All the, the Kansas City Mahomes. I get the it. Kansas yes. City Mahomes. Yes. Courtney, yeah. I mean Luke. Yeah, I got the Mahomes over the Brady Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I have the uh, Tampa Boston Buck of Patriots. <laughs> That's my go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I feel like I, I want Mahomes to win another right. Super Bowl, so that way we can, you know, we can kind of send him to this level of greatness that everyone is projecting him to be at. But I just feel like, God damn, man, it, the, Tom Brady usually just gets so lucky in these situations. And I don't want to see it, but he's in Tampa. They got all these uh, these all these health professionals with that have the COVID vaccine. They're going to be at the game. And it's just all that emotion. I'm just like, I wouldn't be shocked. man. But I want Kansas City to win. I won't be shocked. But I, I want to see this storyline play out where Patrick Mahomes just changes everything. Just like, yo, you can win back-to-back Super Bowls. Like, you can win, like, four in a row because, like, that's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's going to that's gonna be crazy. That's never been seen. It's so early in his career to be having two in a row. And look, like, he's dominant. Like, even mm-hmm. when Brady was winning them early, yeah, we was like, he nice, but... Um, he ain't dunking on nobody. You know what I mean? I get it. Yeah. That's the that's the thing, bro. Like when when Brady, because Brady went back to back early in his career, but everyone mm-hmm. was like, it was off the defense. It was off the the Teddy Bruskies, the, the you know the Ty Laws, the Belichicks. Like so to see a Mahomes and like the way this dude plays the game, it's on his shoulder. Like it's like how Peyton Manning was. It was like the, the it's on his shoulders. So. I want to see I want to see Mahomes win, man. How, real quick, guys, it feels like a weird Super Bowl week, right? Yeah, no, yeah. it's like it's not as much TV, anything. Like even ESPN hasn't been annoying. You know, the week before a Super Bowl, they're the worst. Like it's the same conversation for like two weeks before the Super Bowl. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even even to the casual, bad. not to cut you up, even to the casual, though, like, you know, you had Coca-Cola and Pepsi both go like, yo, we're not even going to touch this. So there's already like this weird tension of people going like, yo, we're just going to stay safe. Like, you know, usually look forward to commercials and shit. But now everyone's like too afraid to really make a stance. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, it, it, it feels I think Kansas City, didn't, they didn't get the Tampa Bay till I think uh, late. I like I want to see like the old days. Listen, I know and, and a lot of the listeners out there, they make fun. They call me the old man. But I remember back in the days when dudes <laughs> was out there fucking prostitutes the night before the game and getting caught out there. <laughs> like, that's the shit I remember. Like, like nowadays, yo, I just woke up. Let's, go. <laughs> let's play football. I just did. I just did six lines of coke and like, I'm ready to fucking go out there and crack someone's head open. Like, I that's did not I wash my dick. <laughs> <We out here. laughs> but that that just goes to show you guys that like you know COVID is really it's it's fucking it's changed the way you know sports and big events like you know this is this is the fucking super bowl 
but also, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot less degenerates in uh, pro sports now. You know what I mean? Like our, our generation of degenerate athletes has gone. Like everybody's like, there's good kids playing <laughs> pro sports, man. It's, it's annoying, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like actually, now that you say that, who was like the last Marshawn Lynch? Was he like our last sort of like, like whatever? Fuck it, dude. I mean, we got like we got some wide receivers that will never change. Oh, I guess Antonio Brown. I guess it has to be the, the guy, Miami man. dudes. You know what I mean? But yeah. A- yeah. B- Antonio <laughs> Brown is I like I like it. So I watched the, I read the text okay. messages. I jacked my dick <laughs> on her back. Like, I mean, that's those are those are throwbacks. Those are throwbacks. <laughs> So. It, it's uh, it's goals because we like to. I, in my mind, I like to think he was right. You know what I mean? And he was just <laughs> getting one off. Like, you know what? I got it. <laughs> Man. But uh. I do, I do hope it's a good game. And uh, I mean, we got listen, guys. <laughs> We got so much to talk about. Courtney, listen, man. Thank you for coming on. I want to ask you, man. Just tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, bro. Uh, like you said, my name is Courtney Reynolds. That's the most important thing. Um, I'm a stand-up comic. Um, from the Poconos. Um, usually, I was born in uh, New York, but you know, I'm from the Poconos. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, man. Literally, that is almost it. <laughs> without, without prompts or questions. Like, if somebody was like, "Hey, tell me about yourself." Well, my parents named me. Right, right. That's important. And I live in a place. <laughs> so, what else you want to know, my nigga? <laughs> so, here, uh, let's let's gear this towards sneakers uh what was the last purchase you might have made for a sneaker that you didn't find like like the last time you splurged on something for yourself sneaker wise oh yeah uh i can i'd love to tell you about this soon as uh we got that first stimulus check <laughs> uh-huh. i got no no not the stimulus check when we started started getting that pua money yes did y'all get the rich nigga lump sum the yes. 600 a week plus yes. yeah yeah i got in a lump sum because I, I got a card late like three months into pandemic uh-huh. Oh, was so too you much came up big. You came up like some racks, bro. I bought gold teeth, bro. So <laughs> like, like, I got a college degree. I got no use for gold teeth, bro. But guess what? <laughs> guess what? So I, so I bought I bought some gold stage wear. I bought gold teeth. I bought a basketball hoop for my for my house, for my parents' house. It's not even my house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but it's there now, and I can hoop. But uh, what up? So the sneakers I bought that week, I bought some um, the Olive Fives. Oh, they, they were okay. like the first lifestyle edition Jordan um, release. It was the Olive Fives. They're like an olive body with like orange tints with a with a uh, a silver tongue. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, it's it it was my holy grail. Like I I went on StockX like a hoe. Yeah, like, I was gonna say resale, right? Yeah. Oh, it was. Ooh. It wasn't crazy. It was, I did it because it wasn't crazy. Mm-hmm. It it was too much because I'm a responsible person. Right. But it wasn't the craziest thing I could have done. You know, it was like <laughs> four and change. You didn't go after some Yeezys or like Nike Yeezys or anything. Basically, what you're saying, yeah. I don't even like those. Y'all like the, y'all like the original Yeezys? Well, don't get I, L started on the Red Octobers, please. You know. Well, not even <laughs> listen. Not even the Red Octobers. I'm I'm a fan of the Yeezys for the innovation for their time, and and I'll say that I, I I'll do respect like, them for that. But I understand where people could be like, ah, because, you know, the first ones are, are bulky. They're they're like really like robotic type shoes. Mm-hmm. And the second ones, even though they're more sleek, they, it's still, a, you know, still an acquired taste. But I, I fucks with them, man. Man, Yeezys are too swaggy for me. You ever feel that way? You don't ever feel like, yo, my feet are doing too much right now? Too much power. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> You know, Courtney, I, and well, look, I personally, I don't always feel that way, but I do understand where you're coming from. Like, because there's certain sneakers that I, I've worn in my life that I'm like, damn, this is too much fucking attention, man. Too many, like, you know, like I've worn sneakers out and then like it's three o'clock in the morning. And you're about to go in a bodega and you're like, oh, man, I don't like it's, it could be it can make yeah, shit hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do I have these gold supreme up temples on right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> So let me ask you a question. So you, you get these, you get these fives. These are, these are your grails, right? These are one of the sneakers that you like, damn, I've, I've wanted these for so long. Yeah. When you, when you, a lot of times, and I have this, it's, I equate it to almost like, like you, you, you watch porn or something like that. And then you get that, 
that nut, right? And that's like that's the best way for me to describe me. You're like, oh man, then I was fucking damn. I I, I did too much. I, I shouldn't have done that. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, like, yeah. so how did you feel when you got them? Were you hyped or you were like, damn, I spent too much money on these shits? Well, like I said, I was rich. <laughs> <laughs> so wasn't no such thing as too much money. I could have bought three more, but I didn't. I, was, I swear I was being responsible. But like when I when I got them, I was definitely thinking like, "Yo, I can stop now." Uh-huh. I thought that immediately. I was like, "I really? don't need to buy. No, I don't need to buy no more sneakers because I, I I've been wearing the same size since fucking high school." So like all my sneakers, I keep them pretty good. I've had them forever. I got like 30 pairs of J's. And I just sit them down, you know, so I can stop. And I probably bought four sneakers since then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got scared for a second. We thought we thought we lost you for a second. No, no, like, no. Oh, what happened? <laughs> no, no, I, I can't I, I can't leave. Apparently I, I live by the outlets. Oh, <laughs> So what else did you like? You you said since then you you've purchased four other sneakers or three you know three other sneakers or, or four in total. Uh, let me see. Yo man, he was rich. Like, yeah, how are you was, supposed to count? Like when you got so much money you know, that you just it, throw around. Yeah, I, I, bought, <laughs> I, I bought four more pairs of sneakers since then. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I got um, I found uh, I found these the PG fours. Okay. You know, okay. The zippers. Yeah. But the the black and white ones, I found those for sixty dollars. Mm-hmm. Like oh, right story. now they're going for like 120 for some reason, but I got those for like 60. Um, I got some um, some Air Max 270s, I think they're called. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. You trying to keep like it a little the, modern? You got some old yeah. stuff, some new stuff. Yeah. Now you yeah. you living throughout they're the like, times now. They got like windbreaker material on them. Is that all right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. The big big moon boot bitches. Yep. And then I got some. Um, what are they called? These um, the Nike N354. Or two five four. It's like a number. Mm. They look like they they kind of look like the waffles. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Those are like some like like more running style, right? They like run. They kind of look like sar- sarconis. So okay, it's like a mix between sarconis and waffles. It's like the N dot and this three five number. four. Like yeah, I think three five N- four. Three five four. I'm looking at them right now. Yep, I see. Yeah, I got the show. I got like the blue ones, the like the teal body, the black and teal. And does it have a little red in it or a little orange or no? Maybe. Oh okay. yeah, it does have a little orange in it. Yeah, yeah. It has yeah. a little orange in it. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, those those became my favorites. Ooh. Ooh. So Courtney, like, do you have as a stand-up comic? I, I always like to ask uh, people this. Uh, do you have a pair of things that you love to wear on stage? Um, they're dick now, but I used to. <laughs> I used to love wearing my fives on stage. Uh, these um. Which which files? There was the uh, the suede black files from 2012, 2013. So you're a five guy? No, <laughs> no, I am not. Those are the only two files I've ever wanted. Okay. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. You have but an interesting palette. Okay. Yeah, they're really comfortable. The the way the suede was broken in at this point, they they were like bedroom slippers. So ah, uh, I understand. Uh... It was just real comfortable on the feet. You know, that those are my favorite to perform in for sure. So just to keep bouncing off this, uh, just because you no, seriously, because, you know, you have your, your favorite stage shoe is a five. Your grail was a five. But mm-hmm. those are the only fives you have. So what do you look for in a shoe that makes you want to purchase them, especially since you just bought those other four and they're like completely different from each other? I think I think I, I used to hoop. Right. So I used to buy sneakers that I could wear and hooping right like because like i was poor as a kid not really like my parents wouldn't buy me like seven pairs of sneakers yeah i got you you got two sneakers and you better like them a lot you know so like i would get ones to hoop in and then they had to double play so i buy a lot of basketball sneakers like stuff that like think of like a power forward would have to wear like some brick heavier sneakers like i like the foams uh patrick ewing's (laughs) <laughs> look at Luke. Yo, Luke is a uh, Ewing represent. Like he loves trying to endorse Ewing. <laughs> My man just loves the Knicks. Big. I'm yeah. Jamaican and I can't do it. I, I'm like, ah, bro, brethren. <laughs> they're they're they they look crazy to me. They are crazy yeah. shoes. I'm not I'm not discrediting that. I just have to pl- I I have to plug them whenever I get a chance as a as a representative. I, Courtney, I, I like that man you got two pairs I, i'm saying very similar man upbringing you know it was it was my mom would give me a pair of sneakers in september for school 
and then March for my birthday. So it was spaced out six months. And, um, and then I remember, man, I got a job as a, like a 15 year old kid for the summer and I, I had a paycheck and I was like, mom, can I buy some sneakers with my money? And she was like, you worked for it. And then what you get? Uh, I got a pair of uh, fours. They were white and blue Jordan fours. It was 1999. Mm. And, and it just started feeding the beast. So I want to ask you, do you remember the first pair of sneakers that you purchased with your own money? You don't have to, you, listen, we can nah. come back to that. Yeah, nah. but you got to put it on the back burner for a second and just kind of like let it simmer, you know? Yeah. Yeah, give, give, let me come back to that. I, I remember the first Jord, the first Jordans I bought that was like, because my parents were only buying me Reeboks because, like I said, I live by the outlet. Mm-hmm. So it was like a buy two, get one free deal. <laughs> have you ever seen three pairs of Nike, three pairs of Reeboks that you was just like, I need these. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> yo i mean okay hold on As, i i used to work there courtney so i gotta like i'm also like a pump the outlet dude. yeah At I, the outlet <laughs> this is uh, this is and this is the era of the steve francis sneak oh dgk mm-hmm. was in the building and that was their best huh dirty ghetto kids is that what you're saying that when they were collaborating with the, that brand no no the steve the stevie francis, steve francis. Sneak- oh francis. i thought you said well, never mind my fault sneak- got you got you got you yeah they so they had those they had um, these sneakers called the Black Tops. Yep. Do y'all remember the Black Tops? No. I have three pairs yeah. of those. <laughs> yeah, my dad made me buy those. Those were the number three sneaker I bought. <laughs> I like, yeah, I'll, I'll get that. Yeah, give me that. It fits. Sinbad. Oh yes. <laughs> you, you look like you look like I don't know. I, like and it's the outlet, so it's not like it was a great selection. Right. Yeah. Let's let's talk a little little sneaker news this week. It's kind of a light week, but I, I do want I do have some stuff we kind of want to get into and we want to uh, chop it up with Courtney about this. So we got a pair of a uh, million dollar Air Jordan ones that are on eBay right now, uh, signed by Michael Jordan. Um, who, who I mean, if you guys were fucking collectors, is is a million dollars not enough, or is it just the right price for a pair of sneakers? Are they game worn? Uh, they're they're pristine, they're unworn, and they're autographed. Oof. So doesn't these aren't game worn? No, uh, but the autograph as well as the condition of the shoes is supposed to justify what yeah. the asking price is. Dead stock with the signature, arguably better than a rookie card. Yeah. Ooh, the and the rookie card just sold for one point four. Yeah. Guys, as collectors or, you know, as sneaker enthusiasts and people who love this, I mean, do we draw the line here or is this, I is draw this the worth line it? There. No, I can't. I can't do a million dollars for these sneakers. They're not game worn. They're just a they're just a factory sneaker that he just pulled off the lot and signed. Yeah. But the thing is, though, is like to find I assume these are 85s like that, you know, that, you know, out of that yeah. initial whatever. So but these are harder to find in that condition than the shoes in general you know what i mean That's so I, game worn versus a dead stock 85 like i don't know i think dead stock would be more valuable bro those look amazing who <laughs> those are they're, so clean yeah now that I we're like seeing more display. pictures we're God, just look like, at that swoosh that swoosh is wild yeah that's like in the wind bro it's like wavy that is so clean like i thought they were going to be much more destroyed well, that that's what it, that's what makes it so interesting to me with the eighty fives because we see, in terms of Jordan ones, how all of not all of a sudden, but in the last like few years, there's been this this trend where people want the original nineteen eighty five high cut Chicago or Jordan ones. Mm-hmm. We, we've seen Little Yachty, we've seen all these celebs, we've seen like John Elliott, and and I'm just like. I don't know, man. I, I think, I mean, once again, I think the, the 85 cut is, is amazing. Um, but I mean, there's also, you know, we also have other years that Jordan ones are, are fucking fire, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't pay a million dollars for it, but I, I am as a, a person who I worked at the NBA store and we used to sell this, uh, this uh, autograph. It was uh, a lithograph or, and it was the autograph of all the 50 greatest players back in the day. Mm-hmm. And the only one who didn't sign, I think, was Pete Maravich, who passed away before. And I remember, like, collectors would come in 
And I mean, every time it would sell, it like there was only like a, a certain amount of pieces, limited amount of pieces. Every time it would sell, the shit would just go up. So yeah. by the time I left and I, I worked there almost 15 years ago, I remember that lithograph or it was going for like 100K. As So as it, there's less, you know, available, there's more. So I don't even know how much it would be now or if there's even any. Yeah. So autographs and of shit like this, I, I'm not paying a mil, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying. I, I, even if I had like, uh, I, I'm trying to think of a number of that I would have to have to be able to say a million dollars. It would have to be like Jeff Bezos money. I think like a million well, is a dollar to me. Yeah. Five. Cause you yeah. can't like, it's not even a talking piece. Like it's a shock in the moment. Like, wow. But after that, it's just like, Oh, okay. Cause what do you, you do? Got, you got to get like one of us in the room to really care. Yeah. And know? then like, it, that's only a 10 minute conversation. Like how much did you pay? Where did you get it? Okay, cool. I mean, like, it's not long. Do you it's have like, security in the house? Yeah, like, how much is it insured for? <laughs> give us give us the shoes or we'll rob you. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the cameras? <laughs> it's a very short conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, man. I, like, yeah, that's, like, I think that's really just some, like, celebrities, like, trying to one-up each other, it seems like. Like, that's that, the only reason why I would get that high. Lawrence, is that on eBay? Yeah I, yeah, I believe it is on eBay, yep. Does it have a best offer? <laughs> well, it says, let's put our money together <laughs> it does say a million dollars or best offer so let's see <laughs> yo somebody offer four hundred dollars <laughs> he's just setting the market high he's like yo i would honestly take 95 dollars for these but like <laughs> well shoot, it, bro i mean going back to the card because the rookie card you sold for 1.4 is that what right. you said luke 1.4 yeah. right hold on i have a picture of it too I didn't know that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. The cards are coming back, bro. StockX fucked up the whole game. And P- Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And the sports guys are coming back. Autograph oh, Michael Jordan card sells for $1.44 million. With the, with the jersey? All-star jersey piece? Yeah. What you think I could get for, like, a David Wingate? Fucking <laughs> 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 David Wingate. Well, that's I mean, the only like, one I don't have in my collection, ones. bro. <laughs> Yeah, I, the, the best one I have is like Mark Blount. <laughs> <laughs> I paid five dollars for a Jeremy Lin Knicks card. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sell it either. No. <laughs> for those of you young listeners out there, David Wingate was a professional basketball player in the NBA <laughs> for 15 years. All right, that was a deep cut. That He's not like an R&B went player. <laughs> so, yeah. <R&B> singer. <laughs> So I just want everyone out there listening, like, who's David Wingate? Yeah, David Wingate is an actual fucking NBA player. That's that's right, listeners. So <laughs> that's right. Yeah, all right. definitely. So, just the listeners don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark Blount was arguably a NBA player for the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> that was the era of uh, gym teachers. Yes. <laughs> Basketball players. Um, so let's let's kind of stay on the topic of Jordan ones for a, a little bit because we still have uh, we have two releases that are coming out I believe in the upcoming week that a lot of people are, are excited for and to stay on topic with the eighty five Jordan theme we have these uh neutral gray uh Jordan ones that are coming out that I personally I I want them uh, Courtney have you seen them No I didn't see them are they right. like uh, wolf gray or are they like they like a cool gray too. Luke's probably gonna pull them up in a second here. So, Give me a sec. All white sneaker with you know gray, gray swoosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those. Those are that's uh that's pretty much the first sneaker I ever the first Jordan I ever got. Yeah, that's yeah. Those are you know the Jordan one. Now here's the thing on the secondary market, and, and a lot of people are anticipating because it's a eighty five and the way the sneakers cut that people are gonna be spending five six hundred dollars on the resale market. Look at you should see Courtney's face right now. It's like, no, for once, <laughs> those are dunks. Like, just I don't, I, I can't, I can't justify, especially on ones. Like, I got a pair of 85s for $69. What? Fucking some red and whites, some red and white 85s, and they're just sitting in the closet chilling. But I paid $70 for them, you know what I mean? So, I can't imagine. Well, as time, yeah, well, I was gonna say with, with Jordan ones, and you know as time went on they've become more like you know people are willing to pay hundreds and thousands of dollars but you know there's a time and, and i say this all the time where you can get a pair of jordan ones 
uh, for 70, 80 bucks, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, Chris and Luke, are you guys looking forward to the release this week? Any of you guys trying to get them or no? I mean, look, I'm going to open the sneakers app at 10 and I'm going to click buy, but we all know how that goes, really. Like, yeah. it is what it is. I'm just, you know, it's rumored to have more pairs than they usually are. I don't know if that 23 was confirmed or not, if that changed anyway. I haven't seen any change to that 23,000 number that they said is going to be the release number, but um, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to hit the button and see what happens. What do you think, Luke? Uh, if, if it's under $500 in resale, like if it's around like 380 to like 400 on the off chance, it does lower that much. Maybe I'll move some shoes around and get a pair, but yeah, I'm going to try on, on sneakers app too. And we'll see what happens. We had this universal, uh, theme when we also, when you said sneakers app, where everyone was like, you know how that turns out. Courtney, what's your experience using the sneaker app, man? I never use the sneaker app. Really? I mean, yeah, I, you're see, a smart I man. Yeah, I know. I, I I don't even give myself access to it because like I'll make poor decisions. You know what I mean? Like I'll buy a pair of olive fives every week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say you'll make poor decisions, but here's the thing about the sneakers app, bro. That you know, since you're they not really, you. they don't even give you the opportunity <laughs> to make poor decisions because. Whenever a pair of sneakers come out that everyone's like, oh, I got to have these most of the time, 10 times out of 10, you're not getting them. You're not getting them. Mm-hmm. I see everybody posting there. Didn't get it <laughs> every mm-hmm. other yep. week. Y'all don't fuck with, uh, I guess StockX is obviously. Um, uh, resale. Resale. Yeah. yeah y'all, don't, y'all don't fuck with StockX. And like, uh, what's that other one? Goat. Goat. Stadium. Flight Club. Stadium, Stadium Goods. Stadium yep. Goods. Yeah. Shout out to Fresco. Um, I mean, the thing is, is that like no one wants to pay resale in the amount of things that we try to cover and stay on top of. You know what I mean? Like we only look for W's and that's retail. Mm-hmm. Like if, if we paid resale for every shoe that we ever wanted, we'd all be broke. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So yeah. you, you kind of just got to take it in stride and get retail when you can. And that's how you got to operate. I bought two shoes resale and that was some red and black foams. I paid 400 for those. And mm-hmm. that was back in like 2012. Mm-hmm. And it was only like uh like two months dead stock. Like it had just released and they bumped that price up. And then I bought these out of fives. But other than that, everything is, is in the store. Mm-hmm. I think I can count on one hand probably the amount of sneakers that I've purchased resale from, whether it was Flight Club or StockX or GOAT. Like it's and it's it's probably more. Uh, now and more like recent that I've like maybe purchased a pair of sneakers resale, but I'm kind of with Chris because if you you see so many sneakers that you like and you have to have the mentality of well it's I missed out on to the next one, mm-hmm. and and that's uh you know that's the honest you 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 would go like you said you would go fucking broke if you paid every you know re, if you paid resale for everything you missed or you wanted I, I, I was I was it was gonna be I was gonna get the Travis Scott sixes. Along with these olive fives, okay, like, Ooh. they were like seven hundred, mm-hmm. and right. I had them in the cart. I was just like, no, 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 no. I just couldn't feel good about it. I couldn't feel good, <laughs> so I took them out. But yeah, man. Do you like uh like like a lot of Travis Scott like the sneakers? Because we we cover him a lot on this podcast because. I you love know, the sixes. The sixes were dope. The, those green sixes. I'm a, I'm a sucker for like forest green, olive green, that color. I like that. Okay. Um, that blue. I didn't like the the fours. The blue fours. Yes, the four. Yeah. Okay. The, the, they basically just made variants of them, so it's like you right. can now go get them for two hundred dollars yeah. less. Mm-hmm. Or and I, I didn't like that backwards check. You didn't like. You guys, the were you guys ones. fans of the backwards check on the ones? Um. I like it from my design side of me, like, you know, like something different. Yeah. To get permission, because, you know, I, I work in design, you know what I mean? I've like worked with different licensors and I've worked with different companies where like they're very particular about branding, you know, you know, branding guidelines, you're only allowed to do so much. So it's exciting to me to see something like that. You know, and people also forget like LeBron was one of the first people who had a reverse check. I remember I saw that on like one of his earlier models. Yeah. yeah. Which was like, um, I forget which number, but it's like uh, it's on his basketball LeBron shoe. Zoom twos, I think. Something like that. Yeah. We're like it was a minute thing where people didn't even really pick up on it. So it's yeah. like it set a precedent later for that to be built up on. And then Travis happened to be the guy that got it. You know what I mean? So to I me. Love, no, I go, go, go. On the, I loved it on the Giannis's. 
the Giannis, the yeah. Giannis, that was perfect. I was like, I to the point where I thought they should have done it on that first. The Giannis has looked good. Yeah, for I, sure. I actually play ball. I think it's the Giannis. It might be the Giannis one or Giannis two, but it's the backward swoosh, and mm-hmm. I, I have it on on. on yep. So uh, I know exactly what you're talking about, Cor- Courtney. I do want to like you. You like the Travis. What do you think of Travis as like to me like an influence? Because I feel like a lot of he's. In terms of streetwear and sneakers for like the younger generation, he's like to me like the Kanye West in terms of for like them. how Kanye had the ones and twos, and now Trav has these dunks and these ones. Yeah. What are your thoughts about Trav? Is Travis Scott? It uh, seems very corporate, and I mean, I, in a way, I'm like, yo, get your money, like yo, get these contracts, mm. you know, okay. what I'm sign up and put out a McDonald's meal that's just a cheeseburger, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, like. But it 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 lacks in passion to me. But I don't really know Travis Scott like if that's like like he went to art school like Kanye. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it it seems like he's kind of just like collecting the check, and less like yo. I always wanted to design a sneaker. Like I never wanted to design design a sneaker. But if comedy takes me to a point where somebody's like yo, I'll give you a million dollars to design a sneaker, I'd be like fuck yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel that. So what do you what do you I feel, I, I feel like I feel like this panel is like you guys are more on the Travis Scott side like I'm I'm team with? Travis Scott I'll tell you that right <laughs> yeah, now yeah, yeah. you want to see I my saw merch? you cry a little bit Travis. <laughs> Luke, I was like bro <laughs> you want to you want to see all the merch I don't I get it I get it <laughs> I'm I I enjoy Trav as a a music uh, artist I feel like you know his his style is you know I, I enjoy it I do like it um. The Jordan ones I enjoyed. I I did like them. I'm I'm a big Jordan one guy. Um, some of the merchandise I, I really I can't get behind. A lot of his merchandise when he does like the Fortnite stuff and the PlayStation, I can never get behind it. Right. It's like that's not for us. I guess it's a little no. exhausting. I will say that. Yeah. It's like it's like Little Wayne after his run was done and he kept coming out with too many mixtapes. <laughs> yeah. Too many yes. mix, too many songs like oversaturation. It's like I don't need this. Oh, that's you know we've said and we've he's court like you said corporate trav we, like when he does the McDonald's shit and you know even the 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 culture vulture type of shit with the with the Jeezy and the Gucci you know versus T shirt you know we mm-hmm. saw that and we were like I mean Chris you you felt the same way right. Yeah so it got to the point for me where he was sort of a pioneer in a lot of these different things you know like respected or not check like whatever like the Fortnite the McDonald's shit that's like sort of pivotal. Yeah in different in different ways for him um but then it got to the point where like yeah we, he like drake made a candle so he's like i'll make a candle you know he starts making virtu- merch for other guys it's like okay now he's sort of like a weird signal for where people like if they don't know what's up they're just gonna buy him so you kind of right. look at everyone wearing travis shit crooked unless you know like when the shit came out but yeah um it's it's a weird thing because you just he's so important in so many different ways but like he is also herbish in these other ways but you so but you can't not pay attention is the real thing Okay, but it's a nice Byredo candle, okay? <laughs> it's a high-quality Byredo candle. I'm not going to let you sit here and disrespect Jacques like that, all right? Jacques LaFlay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would, if I had Travis Scott money, man, I'd, I'd be doing this shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's the same as, like, with Kevin. We could say what we want about Kevin Hart. Like, right. should he do all these movies that are exactly the same? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, if they're going to yeah. give you $3 million to do the same movie four times, do it. Because exactly. we never know how long this run is going to be. Like, you think, even especially with music, like, mm-hmm. you know, G Depp had the hottest song in the city. And then, there you go. When nobody mm-hmm. Harlem Shaking no more. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I, I agree with you on that. I think, you, like you said, you don't know when the candle will burn out. So, hey. I think you, you do have to take hey. advantage of it. <laughs> As much as you can. So. Hey, <laughs> Courtney, I, I wanted to ask you this, man, because uh, you you seem to kind of definitely be on the the uh, the basketball sneaker wave. Like you're you play you hoop. I I tell people I hoop. Right. Okay, you bought you bought a hoop for your parents' house. You hoop. Yeah, I tell I people I play. I I do. I tell jokes too. So you know, it's the kind of the same thing. <laughs> for the basketball listeners out there. Do you have a a favorite pair of sneakers that you hooped in? The foams. Oh no, I take that back. I take that back. I hooped in a pair of twelves. Okay. Brand new twelves too. There's a terrible story behind it. 
<laughs> some brand new twelves. I don't know. It, I actually read the story. Like it was something that he had like a either a heel injury or an Achilles injury right around that time. So right. the twelves, like the heel is super soft. It feels like it's like a know, foam. Head. It has like a foam in it, right? Or yeah. 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 <clears throat> And I'm I'm a bouncy dude, so like when I bl- when I play, like landing is terrifying, right? Mm. So playing in those twelves, it felt like you were landing on pillows, oh, and they were so light, and they were yeah. <laughs> them twelves, them twelves is nice. You remember which ones? I'm gonna guess playoffs. I'm gonna tell you. All right, here's a story. Do you remember the Sunrise Twelves? Sunrise. They were all they're all white, and they have like like a Japan, it comes with like a Japanese flag. There's a story behind it. The Sunrise 12, I think it was like probably like 2012, 2011. Okay, okay. All right. The story behind it, they came in with some inserts that had the Japanese These? flag. Yeah, those. Rising mm-hmm. Sun, Rising Sun. Ah. The insoles, it was a Japanese flag, right? And they got released like that. And then right before the release, J- Japan was like, you can't fucking walk on our flag. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit? Like they, they must have got a late, a late tweet about it. Like, yo, did you see what Jordan did? And so the, the, it got delayed by a day. Right? They had to go take all the inserts out, so everybody had to sell that sneaker with a green insert. So it kind of ruined the shoe for me. Right? Mm-hmm. So the same place I found those seventy dollar um, Jordan ones. This is in the Poconos. I found a pair of Jordan of the Rising Sun Twelves with the Japanese flag insole Damn. in the shoe. Oh, no. I snatched them so fast. I'm a, I'm an 11 and a half. Those were size 12. I snatched them so fast. Bought them. Retail price. I, I never felt so proud, so happy. I knew I had like something. I have something. I'm like, in a few years, this is going to be worth money. Same year, I bought a puppy. Oh, no. That motherfucker chewed the tongue off of this bitch. Oh, and I never wore them. Never Jeez. wore them before he chewed the tongue. Like I just left him home. He dug in the box, oh. ripped the tongue. Bro, you know, do I'm, you still have the the inserts for the soul? I thought you were gonna ask if I still have the dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at Luke's, Luke's priorities. Are you still, <laughs> not even a question about. <laughs> but what about what about the Japanese flag? Did you dishonor yeah, the it? Inserts. I they read the recently they uh, I ended up hooping in the sneakers because I just couldn't. I don't know. I yeah. couldn't deal with it. I hooped in them, so they they got fucked up and they came apart and all that shit. But I kept the inserts. Okay. I still have the inserts. I'm gonna deep clean them and I'm gonna sell them to somebody for a million dollars. Oh, so you did play in them. I did play with the insert. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, the Asian delegation uh, <laughs> your heads, would like to have mean, a word I mean, with you. What Why I are you I disrespecting clean? our boys? <laughs> nah, no, li- Courtney, no lie. I bet I don't know how you would sell those or how you would pitch that because that's like a long, especially with like kids today, they don't un- understand anything. Like mm-hmm. to, I don't know how you would explain the whole hierarchy of that unless you just played them this clip. But like, you <laughs> could get some bread for that. No, we'll, we'll make this way. a clip. We'll make it this a clip on the Instagram sub podcast NYC. And then we'll just say Courtney's looking to sell these inserts. All right. Well, look at the uh, the the Nike the the Betsy Ross uh, flag uh, Air Max ones. Remember, oh, like oh, yes. controversy, and you know when you know the Dennis Rodman's the Air Bacon, like stuff like that. Like w- when when Nike fucks up and pulls stuff, mm-hmm. co- like Courtney, like you said, man, you you had a little gold mine there. Unfortunately, I had something. Yeah. I want to kill that dog. I'm gonna go home and kill this fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> you still have the dog. I still have the dog. <laughs> What's the name this... of the dog? His name is Guy. I don't even want to talk about him. Right <laughs> yeah, <that's> not... <laughs> I... Every time he runs away, I'm like, stay. <laughs> <laughs> Those twelves, rising sun. <laughs> oh, Jeez, man. Man. So we got uh guys, we got uh we got an NBA season going on. Um that fuck, man. It, Kevin Durant, I was watching the uh Brooklyn Nets game last night and I watched they like pull Kevin Durant like early in the game and was like you COVID tracing, you know, like all you oh. gotta yeah, and and the uh the NBA they're still trying to somehow push, you know, having an all-star game yeah. in Atlanta uh this year. I guess you know, have some fans or whatever. And like <laughs> LeBron, head honcho LeBron's like, look, man, I don't want to play this shit, man. I want to chill with my family. You and know? James Harden's like, no, I, I'll, I'll go to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a game of the shaky butts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, 
Listen, I, I know I you know some we watch hoops and stuff, man, but All Star Weekend is very sacred, you know, and, and and it's one of those things where um one, you know, it's a sneaker, you know, the the last like, you know, 15 years or you know, it's been like we dropping signature sneakers and shit like that, man. Do you guys have a favorite All Star memory sneaker or anything like that? I have a memory. It's not a good memory, but I have a remember that one year there like LeBron was like, yo, I'm gonna do the dunk contest next year. Mm, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In that moment, I it was like so hype for me just because I thought we were gonna get like the all-stars actually doing shit again. Mm-hmm. I mean, it obviously never happened, but like in that moment, like I couldn't explain to my mom why I was so excited. I forget why I was home. I was home for whatever reason. I don't remember what year it is. I just have the memory of him going like yeah, you know what? Next year, I'm going to do this. I was like, yo, we're going to get some LeBron dunk highlights like that shit. But, you know, it didn't really happen. But that's my memory. That's the one I got. My favorite all-star memory. Well, I have two favorite all-star memories. The time that John Wall uh, got 22 assists in the rookie game. That was an incredible game because mm-hmm. it was him and Blake Griffin just open to each other. It's amazing. And then the other thing is when Nate Robinson dunked over Dwight Ho- Howard for the dunk contest. That's true. That's a As a one. short guy, that is iconic. St- for for forever, man. I'm I'm probably a little cliche, but that uh that comeback that the East did put on the West that one year two thousand one like AI two thousand one is AI mm-hmm. Stephon Marbury like literally mm-hmm. hooping. It was just like nasty hooping. Vince Carter mm-hmm. like they was just like we're not losing. That should that was one of the, that gave me goosebumps. I remember watching that game. I was like, this is real. And the AI was my favorite player, so. Yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it, but no, no, no. All right, yeah, yeah. I won't. Uh, I'm not gonna do it out. Don't worry. But like, <laughs> you, you, you awoke the beast. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, do it. Dude, fuck that. Fuck no, 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 no. Because no, yo, yo, me and L have had the, this weird back and forth on like how I think Iverson's important. Like, we'll talk off mic, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> why, well, L? What do you got? What's your favorite memory? Uh, I got. Well, I got two. I got t- two memories, maybe three. Uh, two the, basketball wise, it was uh, MJ's last All Star game, uh, where he hit like he hit this fadeaway, and the game mm-hmm. like the East they should have won the game. And then Jermaine O'Neal fouled. I forgot who he fouled on the West, but they went to overtime and they lost. Like that was like MJ's like Mariah Carey came out sang in the fucking Jordan dress. And um uh and then in terms of um non game memories or non basketball memories, I the, the all-star game in New York in 2015, I believe. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I, I just remember like the the amount of sneakers that were, you know, that I picked up and sold and you know, I still have to this day from that. It, dude, I mean, they were giving out fragments. They were giving out blue Don C's. Uh, if you oh. went to if you went to the sneaker spot, uh, it was uh, it was a Foot Locker, pop of Foot Locker right across the street from Madison Square Garden. I mean, you was getting, you know, bulls over Broadway. You could have got, you know, yeah, all these different fours. Um, and I remember. Oh, dude. Yeah, it was it was insane. Uh, what was it? Um, the phone posits the what was it the uh mirror the the mirror ones yeah the chrome ones yeah yeah, yeah. chrome joints mm-hmm. yep yeah yeah that one probably was that's gonna be like a just to go back to like the memory of like you know the what the all-star weekend is supposed to be like that weekend i think is gonna go down as like one of the better ones going forward just because like we're not really gonna have this shit like we used to and mm-hmm. like that being in new york that, that we had five boroughs just like having all types of nba shit going on this shit was crazy yes yeah and that I was like was right so when the poor. sneakers app dropped. Like, oh wait, what are you gonna say, Courtney? I was, I was, I was just so poor around that time. I don't even remember twenty fifty. It was such a blur. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I remember, I, I remember being hyped that like it was in New York. I'm like, it's, it's accessible. Like, I could, yeah. if I could afford it. Well, that that was the thing, and I remember, I remember, um, I remember like sell, reselling some sneakers that time just so I can have money to resell more sneakers. <laughs> In 2015, and I remember um, I went to there was there was a Jordan pop up shop and it was right across the street from the Barclays Center. And I remember there was like 60 dudes online. It was like two in the morning and they were all waiting because they were releasing Jordan one fragment. And it was like eight degrees outside at two o'clock in the morning. And I said, I can't do this shit. And I went home 
And the next day I found out that dudes was getting like two or three pairs of fragments, just like looping the line because people didn't want to wait out in the cold. Yeah, Yeah. dude, eight degrees, you know, at two in the morning. But I just remember like All-Star Weekend has been like, you know, whatever city it's in, it's just, you know, it's fucking come one, come all, get all these sneakers and and enjoy it. I didn't know that. I really didn't even know that. I didn't think, I didn't think about that part. I Mm -hmm. thought it just would be fun to be in the city while All-Star Weekend was happening. Well, listen, for for broke motherfuckers like us, yeah, it's just yeah. fun, but like for for like the rich to le- like it's a fucking party. It's a oh, huge party. I remember it was James James Harden was in the league, right? By then. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I know my one of my homies like went to went to college with Harden, was his roommate. He was, he was mm-hmm. on the same team. So, I was just like I was just like stalking his page. I'm like, you linking up with Harden? Because I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. He did not. <laughs> but that's man, All Star Weekend, man, is the, is the it's the fucking it's the fun. It's the like you said, man, it's the slam dunk contest. The three. So yeah. to have it, it's almost the same way. I mean, granted, the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl, but like All Star Weekend, they gotta clip that. They can't have, but they're just money hungry, man. I mean, didn't they say they weren't going to do it at first? So, like, I'm saying, what's changed? That almighty dollar, Courtney. Right. You know, mm-hmm. it's like they're they not getting the money they thought they would have been able to get from revenue se- or um, ad sales or whatever. And the ticket sales, they realize, and that was probably the bulk of their, their revenue. So they're like, yo, we got to get it somewhere. And we, we do need to talk about, the, because this is like, you know, this would be an all-star weekend release. The trophy room Jordan ones, yep, yeah. yeah. Is that the um the they like glittery? Yeah, the yeah. glittery joints. And they yes. got they're signed. There's like what, yeah, like thirteen thousand or something like that. No, there's zero, Courtney. There's literally zero. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's none, dog. There's none. If you if you get a pair of those, like I don't. I mean, you talking rich shit right now, like I get dog. <laughs> I mean, L, you could go into it, but like, yo, there's none of this shit coming out. It. Yeah, it's um, it has the feeling of just a sneaker that like it's gonna be like a mythical. It's almost like like in a sense a, a lower version of a Dior one, like where it's not many people are gonna actually touch the the sneaker itself. Mm. Like it's gonna this is gonna be a sneaker that people will never wear. Well, they won't even get the chance because like there's these crazy rumors of like literally every pair getting backdoored. Yes. What does that mean? Give me the lingo. Um, oh, so like uh, resellers are buying them because like the store is handing them out basically to certain people for X amount of dollars. Right, like right. I was hearing like people being like it's somewhere from like 800 to like 1200. They're paying up front to get the shoes early and then they're reselling for more than like double that. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So basically now there's there's all right. So not only do we have that the rumor that a lot of these sneakers, first off, it's Michael Jordan's son's uh, sneaker store that is releasing the shoes, which that right there and the way this is playing out is like, dude, like give like this is who you this is what you're doing right now. But your legacy kid. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Living off his dad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. his his legacy before this the store was getting fucking torched by Eric Gordon in high school. Trash. Yeah, they were trash. Those boys. I'm sorry. Oh, I agree. <laughs> and they I played agree. real college ball. Like they, one of them played for Illinois. Right? Illinois. Yep. Mm-hmm. That was that was worse than little Romeo playing. <laughs> no. on USC. Oh, that was oh. that felt more of a basketball betrayal than little Romeo playing. So, all right, hold, so let, let, let's just let's <laughs> let's figure the whole no because I'm I'm very intrigued by this because we we have that like the rumors that the sneakers are being backdoored left and right they were being backdoored so you know the resellers they're paying you know a certain amount of money you know if the sneakers two hundred they're paying you know eight hundred dollars a sneaker they're trying to sell it for fifteen sixteen two thousand dollars right now not only that but then there's rumors that the sneakers are uh, there's so many uh, unauthorized fake pairs floating out there because the f- fake factories have mirrored these sneakers to the point where you can't tell them apart from the real ones. Yeah, the only one that has like you can know you know is legit is that they have like the blue laces with them, and those are like friends and family pairs. So and StockX is allowing you to sell them without the blue laces. So. Mm-hmm. 
to make a long story short, you can pay two thousand dollars and then stock X doesn't even know how to truly verify and verify. Can't tell what's real and what's fake. So what you're saying is I should take the red and white ones in my house. <laughs> uh huh. Shellac them one time, dust them with some coke or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean that those are the type of shoes that I, I don't trust. You know what I mean? Like it's not it doesn't seem worth it to me. Like it's it's not I mean, I know you're a one head, but like it's not special looking enough for me to go that far out of my way. It's the, uh, aside from the signature, it's a pretty regular sneaker. And without the signature, I don't think it would sell. Without the signature and the hype. The hype is what really, yeah. I think the hype, the limitedness. The, limited, the yeah. fact that we haven't gotten to Chicago. That's another yeah, one. Yeah, we haven't that's, gotten to Chicago mm-hmm. in a long time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, so this is one of these instances where we've had a couple of these with the DR being one of them. That That's an extreme example. But I feel like this is just for s- some celebrity shit. Because, like, we reading the articles, celebrities don't. We're reading going, like, oh, this shit's all getting backdoored. Oh, we're not going to get a pair of shit. This ain't even what I wanted anyway. It's glitter. It's not, like, the regular Chicago. So, like, I feel like we, as consumers who, like, follow the culture are kind of off this. But they're still going to go because celebs don't know shit. They're like, oh, yeah, fucking yeah. Sh- a shiny Chicago Jordan? Yeah, I'll pay whatever. Two grand? Fine. Uh, True. PJ Tucker's gonna have one. Yeah, he's, he's gonna play, play it too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. And he's gonna get sniped by some sneaker head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't, I, don't I, I can't I can't really I can't really get by. How many how many were the how many Dior's were released? Uh tw- no. twenty three thousand total, I believe, right? Oh. It was there like, was uh, there, there, uh, there was a number hook. To uh, some years, I believe. I don't remember exactly what it was, like, but like 8,500 8, or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, there the was highs like, or... yeah, and then like twenty some twenty three hundred for the low or something. It was like very Jordan year number related, but yeah. I mean, it was so far. It, regardless, we couldn't have gotten them anyway. You know what? Release. I liked those um those fours, the sales. Oh, the off white joints. The off white. Off white joints. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were only women's, right? I mean, they said they were women's, but like the way that sneakers things are going, everything's going to be unisex and release all yeah, sizes. Yeah. I I was on StockX trying to buy those that week, and they went up to like four grand immediately. Yeah. Well, what happened is in your side because you're an eleven and a half, mm-hmm. so those bigger sizes just went as the stock people say it went to the moon. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, Lawrence learned wow. some things about stocks. Stock to the moon. To the, to the moon, <laughs> baby. Diamond hands. Stocks. Courtney, do you have, you know, I know you said you got your fives. Uh, if, you know, if you know, we're all, all four of us are, are stand up comics. And if you shot a, you know, shoot a special, you know, you know, whatever big special, or, you know, thousands of people uh, in the, in the audience, what shoe would you wear? Or would you, you know, wear a sneaker on, on your special? Uh, definitely wearing sneakers. Definitely wearing sneakers. Um, well, I've never given thought to that. Really? My, I'll tell you what my knee jerk was, and I, I know I would never go with this because I've never even put a pair of these on my feet. But I would, I'm thinking like some Concords. Oh, just, some clean shit. Yeah, just classy, clean. But I don't think I would actually do that. So honestly, they would probably end up being those sale fours. Really? Yeah, I those would, are. Yeah. Hmm. Those are clean, and I like I like the ways um, jeans sit on fours. So, yeah, yeah, I would probably get some fours, them fours. Nice, hell yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Courtney, tell answer. real quick. You you said uh, earlier you told us you have a a, uh, a, a stand up comedy show that I've done. That's really amazing. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I smokes the weed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a 420 friendly comedy show. Uh, we got a band. We got a, a girl singing at the beginning of the show when they doing all the song intros and everything like that. Uh, you can smoke. Sometimes we have the uh, uh, edible food, you know, coming through for the show. But usually it's just like a good vibe of people sitting on couches getting real high, listening to comics. And you know, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's good, but it's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what's up, man. Yeah. You just reminded me to hit up my dealer. <laughs> Is that what you were texting? Yes. It's like, all oh, right. <laughs> all right. I needed an A. That's right. Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. 
do do we have anything else or uh do you want to run through some let's play a little game with with courtney real quick before we go yeah right, okay let's play the game and we get out of here all right yeah. so courtney i'm gonna have i'm gonna pull up some sneakers for you and i want you to guess the resale price on all of these these are all releases from the past year um and we're gonna see how much you know about these resale prices all so right. yeah consider hype the shoe yeah. the collab uh, and then what you thought maybe the retail was, we're going to tell you that, I think. And then, um, yeah, just to compile all those together, what you think the resale price of these is going to be. All right, this is going to be fun. All right. The first shoe we're going to bring up, you mentioned Travis Scott earlier. So I'm going to show you the Travis Scott 270, <coughs> which released earlier last year around April or May, I believe, mm -hmm. during the Cactus Trails run. How much do you I'm think gonna... this sneaker is reselling for? I'm going to say that's 480, 485. 485. Okay. We've locked it in. And he, yeah, you're about right. You're about right. It's around that 490, 450. Wow. Uh, that was impressive. That was very good. We had Brendan. What did I just say? <clears throat> we had Sagalo <laughs> do this on a bonus episode, and he m failed miserably on every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bar is very low. And the retail price <laughs> was 170. Yeah, I was, yeah. Not a bad yeah. come up. What do you think of the shoe? Do you like the shoe or I uh I'm a fan of um the purposely dirty look. Okay. Like that uh that rusty on the yeah. bottom. Like I like that. I don't really like the silhouette, uh, not the silhouette. The silhouette is fine, but there's like a lot of action on the toe, on the uh, on the <laughs> tongue area. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I get a better picture of that. Like everything that's going on up there with like the grays and then the the little tab on you know top. no one no one talks about this i don't think i've said it on the podcast but they, that's a easy toe they took easy toe for that that's the easy toe like oh the, yeah i mean that... the wave runners oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's yeah, a wave runner sure. toe You're right. i like the shoe i can't say i don't okay well next time you get a, a boatload of cash maybe <laughs> maybe I, I think i would take that purple eyelid off that's fair that's, that's fair that's it that's Hold it. On. i think fair, that's what's bothering me let's see you also mentioned Jordan 1s earlier that you paid $75 for. Well, I've got a pair for you today. These are the J Balvins, which were <laughs> released in December. First of all, let me get your thoughts on them. I'm giving them to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's literally handing you saying, get this away from me. Mm. <laughs> these, look, uh, these look like preschool sneakers. Like, <laughs> like you buy them for your kid because you know he's going to fuck them up. And <laughs> ah. I've never seen these. Yeah. Never heard of them. And I bet you they they probably sold at like 170. Right. Uh resale that's 225. 225. And the I, J Balvin's cost 566 was the last sale. We're looking 460 to 795. No. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, who's who's Jay Baldwin? Is he like? A, <laughs> I knew he didn't know. Bro, you don't know Jay Is he like a Rap Simmons ass dude? Like he's like he's a guy. He's a guy. No, like, he's uh, Jay Baldwin, bro. He's you know, um, he's an Latin international Travis artist. Scott. Yeah, international Latin Latin artist. Latin pretty, Travis Scott. Pretty the name did nothing for me. I, I should have known the name, but I I I should have known the name would imply that it's gonna be some other shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm, Colombian a, reggae tone singer. So Bad Bunny from the other side. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's some that's some Puerto Rican ass Jordan though. Like that's a, <laughs> that's for y'all. Like that's not. That's, <laughs> can't nobody wear that and not go. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> I feel like I'd, if if Dykeman was open, there'd be a couple of those up there all day. Uh, all day. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got one more shoe for you today. This all one right. is going to be. We were talking about All Star Weekend. So I figured I'd bring up the Yeezy All-Star shoe. Uh, uh, this is the Yeezy Quantum. Uh, what do you think of the shoe first? And then tell me your resale price. If I was in the league, I'd hoop in these. I heard the, um, the league doesn't want you hooping in these. I know, the league I know. banned them. <laughs> I know, I know. Didn't uh, what's his name? Swaggy P put these on one game or something? I, I saw Andre Iguodala, I think, hooping those, if I'm yeah. correct. Yeah. I think I think I would hoop in these. But uh, those are seven seventy. Seven seventy, you're gonna say. Seven seventy. Okay. Two sixty oh! was the last sale. <laughs> I'm about to go get them now. Bro, that 
listen, you're getting them for a steal at this point. You thought they were seven hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> but why? What? Nobody likes those. Nobody likes those. They for some reason they really flopped. Uh, well, I, I would. I, I mean, that, I would hoop in those. Those look like <laughs> sneakers I should like that would be good for me yeah. to hoop in. Well, there's a couple reasons is that the quantities weren't low on him. Like if you wanted them, you could get them. And then last huh. year during All-Star Weekend, he was literally handing them out of like this Halo uh, tank truck looking yeah, shit. Like, hold on. Let me see. that. Oh, that's a shame. Poor Yeezy. No, nah, Yeezy's doing okay. Don't worry <laughs> he's about it. He's, <laughs> he's doing fine. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Yeezy. His resales are under $300. That's what I he mean, wanted. <laughs> look, I mean, he, I mean, his life is always in a state of shambles, but he, somehow he's coming up better than anyone has ever imagined he could. So I'm not really worried true. about Yay. Hold on, let me see if I could pull up the. This is the truck that they they were pulling those out of. This is yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with my man? In, in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, in, in Chicago. Well, in why. Chicago. Well, then that's why. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you have a truckload of Yeezys, you would need a tank if you're going to Chicago, just hanging them out. You, you want to be safe, you know? <laughs> oh, very funny. So uh, that's the game. Thank you for playing. Do 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 do. You did much better than Sagalo. Um, if any, I guess if you're a, if you can win the game, you won. I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> you got the you got the record right now. Yes. <laughs> I, I would be interested in seeing how that goes because that's that 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 easy threw me off with this that other sneaker. <laughs> yeah, I'm upset. I don't know if you can tell. I'm upset. We were thrown off also. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. We didn't think it was going to be around 500. No. <laughs> um. But yeah. So um. So you have your stand up show. Where can people follow you on social media if they wanted to do so? Oh, you can see me on Instagram at Sir Courtney Reynolds. I just changed my name, so I almost forgot. Um, I'm probably everywhere else at Full Court Comedy. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about those. What do you guys think? Should I? Should I which one do you like better? Ooh, I see. Yeah. I'm I, we've known me. you as Full Court Comedy. I know. I was gonna say I know you as Full right. Court, but I mean, yes, yeah, Sir Sir Court. Sir Courtney Reynolds. This is that's fancy. That's I like that. I was just surprised I got it. Yeah, I typed it in. I was just like, "Fuck it, let's see how this goes." Uh, yeah, I, I, I would go with the name just because I don't know how many dudes are outside of you know us knowing right. are actually going to call you full court. So this that, right. that separation of name and brand. But mm -hmm. what do we know? I, I, we have we have very weird names. <laughs> I know Lawrence's name is mostly numbers. If I didn't know <laughs> who you were, I'd be yeah. like, "Well, this is a bot." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. L Lawrence's screen name is also his password, so he can't forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's the initials in the in the birthday. It's weird, man. I should have used my full name, but whatever, man. We, it's too late we, now. It's too late. I'm known as LZD, so whatever. It's LZD three two five on all yeah. social media. We got uh, Sir Courtney Reynolds on yep. Instagram, and then everywhere yeah. else, full court, full court comedy, right? Yes, sir. All right, and then uh, not that Cheney on all. Mm -hmm. uh, social media and Trevisus. So as you can see, none of us have any idea how to run social media. <laughs> we need branding teams. Well, we yo, teams. when I made that, like the vice president, everyone thought was I was funny. related to my guy. Yeah. yeah, it was great. It was great. Yeah. yeah now so you got all these Zoomers running around. Like, who's the other? You got to explain it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And also, like, you know, finding out that there's a chain of university. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, all this shit's crazy. Yo. Every time I typed in Cheney University, I got pictures of the vice president. I was just like, this is <laughs> yeah, so he gets it. wrong. Uh, podcast, you can follow at SubPodcastNYC. We have a Patreon, uh, uh, patreon.com slash SubPodcastNYC. Yep. We just put out a bonus episode uh, with Dexter, the creator. He's a customizer from L.A. He, he spoke to us, talked about our – he went through the process of making – his all-in-one sneaker. We pressed him on the fact that he stole the idea from us. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> you should check it out. Uh, also, join our Discord. It's going to be the link's going to be in the bio. I think that's everything. Anybody else have any last thoughts? Uh, make sure you join the Discord. You mm -hmm. said that jo yeah. join the Discord and 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 Courtney, come through to join the Discord. Man, we have fun in there. Uh, if you you know, it's it's just dudes. You know, it's it it's fun. Yeah, yeah. come th come through. And thanks for doing the pod, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. This was yeah, fun. Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All right. I guess that's it, guys. So we'll talk to you next week. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy the Super Bowl and uh, go Tom Brady. 
No, 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 no. Go Mahomes. Tom Brady. Mahomes. Tom Brady. All right, see you guys next week. Tom Brady. <laughs>